This really isn't a video that I wanted to do, but many people on the comment forms have actually asked me. Now, last week I did actually go to Pattaya to do some filming just to show you what it was like. I did go into some areas that I wouldn't normally go to just for educational purposes only for videos, like some of the entertainment venues, so to speak. But I have been asked about prices. Now, I would highly recommend going to a YouTuber called Everything Pattaya or Pattaya. Um, and I put the link in the description below, who is a guy who lives there and he knows everything about everything about prices, about the entertainment or the nighttime. Now, I'm out of my depth with this. When I was young, yep, in Asia, I have been to a go-go bar, even you could say a ping pong show. But this is in the early days when I was young, handsome, had hair and I didn't have yellow teeth. Nowadays, no, it's just not my cup of tea. I do like going to Pattaya. I like to go there shopping. I like the food and just having a walk around is okay. That's fine. But I'm going to give you some of the prices. First of all, you go into a bar and it's full of young, charming girls. You sit down, you have a drink. Your beer drink possibly is going to be around about 90 to 120 baht. Now, at the time of writing, 32.7 is one American dollar. I will do all the prices in bar. You sit down, you're having a drink, you're just walking. A girl will come up to you and say, hi, how are you? What's your name? Do you want to buy me a drink? Basically, in a nutshell, this is a business. Remember, this is a business. She doesn't like you. Well, she may do if you're incredibly handsome and very, very charming, but she needs money. So this is called a ladies drink. And how much would this ladies drink be? Well, approximately, not accurately, but approximately, it's going to be 150 baht. And this drink is a tiny sip of Coca-Cola. It may be a beer if she wants it, but usually it's sort of like a soft drink or a flavored colored drink, and that's about it. And she would get maybe 70 or 80 baht out of it, that, and then the bar would actually get the rest. But you get chatting and you really like the girl and it's working hours and you may want to take this lady away from the bar. This is called a bar fine. So how much is a bar fine? Well, according to Everything Pattaya, the average price is about 1,500 baht. Basically, you're taking the girl out of work and that's possibly how much money she is going to make that bar per night. Don't know everything. And this is all organized by the Mama Sang. Mama Sang is a lady pimp. Basically, she is the manager of all the girls who work in the bar. You can see in this picture here, this gentleman has bar fined two ladies. So that would cost him 3,000, which would be or getting close to 90, 85, $90. Wow. One of the tips I did pick up, you would have to pay the bar fine in advance, but don't pay for any extra services in advance and give it to the mama sand, which we talked about earlier, because the girl may say, go, let me go out for dinner. Let me buy me a very expensive dinner. So the services, for the lady services, how much are they? Well, I really don't know with this one, but I could imagine you would sort of negotiate this with the girl. You can go and speak to some other guys in the bar who may be a little bit drunk and they would tell you some prices, but I could imagine anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 baht. And it also depends if you're looking for a short time, which is maybe two to three hours or one to three hours, or long time basically means that she will wake up with you in the morning. Another entertainment venue is quite common are the gentlemen's or the gents club prices. 
Now, the beer is near enough going to be the same, depending on the beer. If it's like a Chang, which is like a little bit of a Carlsberg, maybe 70 to 80, but it's something a bit more exotic, like a San Miguel Light, then it's possibly, again, going to be 90. The same as these prices in gentlemen's clubs. These are just like closed areas with possibly a little less music. And then you can buy the girls a drink. It will still cost you about 150 baht per drink, but they may have a back room. So you won't need to pay the bar fine if you get my drift there. Now you would have to rent the room and I can imagine, again, according to everything Pattaya, uh, that it could be round about 400 baht for the length of stay. For the services, again, that would be an additional extra, but everything would be controlled there by the Mamasam. One more thing to go is the freelancer. What is the freelancer? Basically, these are girls who just basically work for themselves and you can find them on the, a lot of them in the old days, the beach, or you can see them hanging around bars or in nightclubs, etc. Same kind of thing. You can buy them a drink by all means, but they're not going to get any money from it. They're just trying to get you to pay for their services. And the prices for this, I could imagine, again, anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000, and they may ask you short time or long time. So I've got that out. I hope I never have to make this kind of video again. Sort of find it a little bit embarrassing. But the whole thing is with this, ladies and gentlemen, this is reality. This is Pattaya, Thailand. This is why many people do come to Pattaya for the fun and the excitement and the cost you could say compared to America or Germany or England, whatever, is like quarter of it. So for the European or for the Westerner, so to speak, it is actually a bargain of a lifetime. The hotels, you can get really nice three-star hotels for $33, all the way up to five-star that will rip you off for $250 per night. The air tickets, there are so many choices to get to Thailand. What I want to do is actually explore Thailand a little bit more and show you places like Chiang Mai, Koh Samui. I have got some videos of Phuket, I do believe, on my other channel. The link is in the description below. And I will love you and leave you with all these uh, facts and figures that I've just given you. Whew. Please don't quote me exactly. If you do go and a beer is 110, say, oh my God, you don't know the price. I'm just doing a pure average for you. God bless to everyone. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.